Yes, sir. I'm going to ask about the Transcontinental Pipeline. I got relatives working there. 11,000 people got laid off and shut down right now. Yeah. I got friends in Canada. They could supply a whole damn country with oil out there. It's number one sweet fruit. And also the border. Southern border is a mess. I got an in-law, aunt as a politician from Brazil. And she says, Brazil loved it. They cleaned out the prisons of all the rapists, the murderers, and the thieves. They love it. As you know, you're going to call to keep a criminal in jail. <laughs> down the border right now. How are we going to cure that too? That's a big one. You got well, two first, look, day one, as your new president, I promise you, we're going to end the war on energy. And we're going to put America back on a path of energy. I mean, for years when I was in Congress, we often talked about achieving energy independence. And I thought it would take years to get there. I was determined to get there. I was always about those policies Congressman Feastman. But during the Trump-Pence administration, we we actually became a net exporter of energy for the first time in 75 years. And uh, so, you know, day one is you, you approve the Keystone and Dakota pipelines, you, you expedite leasing of foreign, of, of, of domestic lands, you open up the Alaska National Wildlife Region that's been closed down. And, and for heaven's sakes, we, we don't need a president of the United States going hat in hand to Saudi Arabia asking them to pump more oil and then being told no. We got incredible resources in this country, and we need to be developing that. We can do it in a responsible way. I promise you, we'll do it. On the southern border, look, I've been down to the border a half a dozen times. We got family that lives in Arizona, uh, but I've been down there, met with border patrol agents. I'm telling you what, everything that's happening at the southern border of the United States is the fault of President Joe Biden and the Democrats. I mean, on day one, he shut down construction of the wall. You can go down there, Congressman Beach has been there, he'll tell you. It looks like a, fr a parked freight train. They got these steel girders rusting in the sun because Joe Biden on day one said, stop the construction on the wall. So you have these huge gaps in the wall. You know, we built hundreds of miles of wall. And, and now the cartels just, essentially, I've had Border Patrol agents tell me the cartels have operational control of our border today. Five million people have come across the border. It's the worst, uh, it's the worst tide of human trafficking in, in world history, uh, and it's all being driven by the policies. I negotiated the Remain in Mexico agreement on behalf of the administration. Uh, had the Mexicans sit across the table. We got them to agree to make people wait in Mexico while they apply for asylum. We executed Title 42 in the early days of COVID. Illegal immigration and asylum abuse dropped 90%, and we can do it again. We can secure the southern border of the United States of America by finishing the wall, putting all the policies back into effect that we had under our administration. And we'll do it. Yeah.